Hey guys, what's up, it's Matt, and today I'm going to be talking about a fairly sticky subject for Mac owners, and that's viruses. Until recently, you haven't seen many viruses on Mac OS X, and that's basically because virus creators haven't really gone through the trouble of making one, because it's not, you don't get, you don't really get too much of a profit if, if you actually do scam Mac users, because there aren't that many. They've been getting popular pretty quickly, and so everyone, all the critics and stuff, analysts have known that actually we are going to start seeing viruses. And so this most recent one, Mac Defender, it's actually... Um, escalating pretty quickly, a lot of people are getting infected with it. And if you call on Apple support, they'll act, they've actually been given um, commands not to help you guys. And the reason is, even if you have Apple Care, what it is, um, what it'll what'll happen is if you say anything about Mac Defender, to go ahead and give you, give you like this sheet of in, like information and excuses saying, hmm, we don't know about any virus called Mac Defender. Uh, we can't help you, but here's links to the latest security updates, and you can go buy virus software from app from Apple.com. And the reason that they're doing this is because although it is fairly easy to remove, they don't want to be expected to always give out tech support for viruses and stuff like that. Because like I said earlier, um, we are going to start seeing more and more as Mac gains market share. Basically, how you get Mac Defender is you browse on the internet, and all of a sudden you'll see this pop-up window, and it'll give you an animation um, that looks pretty close to Finder. It actually looks pretty realistic. And it'll tell you that you have so-and-so how many virus threats and uh, there's 16 critical threats and that and it'll, you'll get a pop-up saying that Apple wants you to go ahead and install the latest security software. So while you're while you're looking at this animation in the background, a program is downloading the Mac Defender DMG file, which will go ahead and prompt you for the password to install. And that's the that's the one way that you know you can never get a virus is, um, so far is that if you don't enter your password, it can't install. The people that that are fooled that do fall for it, what happens is it goes ahead and installs. Um, you boot up the program and it'll go ahead and say it's loading the database and while that's happening in the background, it runs in the background and then what will happen is it'll shoot you like links pop ups to all these uh, naughty websites from in your internet browser and it'll start convincing that you that you actually do have a virus and the main trick in this program is actually that by default it comes unregistered unregistered <laughs> so um, it lets you see the viruses but it doesn't let you actually remove them until you purchase it and when you actually try to purchase it it asks you for your credit card number, expiration date, all the stuff so that they can steal from you. Except when you actually finish going through this process, it'll go ahead and reject your card so that um, if you do have other credit cards, it'll go ahead and prompt you for those. And while it keeps saying denied, 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 what's happening is they're racking up all these credit card numbers and actually storing their numbers, sending them to their servers, wherever it goes, so that they can either steal from you, steal from you directly or go ahead and send them to a third party where they steal from you. <laughs> so it's a lose-lose. Basically, how you remove this I have a very quick tutorial on my website, and it's actually really easy, three steps. So if you if you do have this virus, if that's why you're watching this video, um, go ahead and follow that link. It'll, it's really quick. I guarantee you'll get it out of there. But if you don't have this virus, go ahead and protect yourself. Like I said, if you see anything suspicious, don't put in your password. <laughs> that's the one way they get you. They trick you into putting in your password, and you can't do anything if you don't put in your password. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will